Hello dancers and welcome. For those of you who are just tuning in, my name's Tika and this is Everyday Ballet, which is a system of authentic, gorgeous ballet training, especially designed for teens and adults. You don't need to have a dancer's body. You don't need to know anything about ballet. I'm here to show you all about it and to help you to bring some ballet grace and power to your life. In this video, I'm so excited. We are continuing on with our Waltz of the Flowers dance along. Now this is part two. So if you haven't seen the instructional videos for parts one and two, as well as the choreography for part one, I've started a playlist so you can check it out. And if you like this, please remember to like, subscribe, share, and set your notifications. It's gonna be a week over week series. So we learn the entire Waltz of the Flowers. And definitely bring a friend Ballet is so fun when it is shared amongst people who care about one another. I'm so delighted you're here. Let's ballet. This section of our Walls of the Flowers choreography draws heavily on the step balance from our tutorial. So I hope you've been practicing your rocking step, sometimes called a wall step. Now, when we start to learn from here on out in these sections of our dance, you're going to notice that there are patterns. So I've broken the dance down, and this first pattern is actually going to repeat a couple more times during the course of the dance with some minor changes, a little bit of lift of the legs and some slightly different arms. So once you learn this, you'll be setting a pattern for something that is to come. So the first thing before we start learning this section is we want to start imagining the space around us so that we can orient our bodies in specific directions. That's actually going to really help you to remember the choreography itself. So the first thing is to just stand wherever you are standing and you're going to want to imagine you're standing in the middle of a box. So you've got this sort of square around you. Now you may be facing, you know, sideways along a wall or something like that but wherever you are imagine you've got a straight side in front of you two straight sides on either side and a straight side behind now with that box you have four corners and those are like diagonals so you could be facing the corner you could be facing the side you could be facing the corner the back the corner the side the corner and the front this is the system of the facing of the body that we use in ballet. And I'm gonna be drawing on that to help you to remember which direction to go. Hopefully you've been practicing part one of our Walls of the Flowers choreography. So let's go ahead and review it before moving on. Standing in B plus, you can either be on the ball of the back foot or you can point the toes and be on the big toe. First, we go to arabesque a terre. So we bend the knees and we call, come. And now we turn towards the back leg. We bend the knees and we call, come. And then we step forward. We're coming back into B plus. We say, you, you, here, and down. And now we do our bourre step. So we bring the feet together, the feet are working, and then we beckon. We say, come dance with me. You can do that a couple of times. And then we bring the arms down, and we turn the back foot becomes the front foot. Now we've got the other foot in front. And then we take that back foot, and we go back to arabesque a terre. And then we drag that back foot into the front to do a bourre, bringing it up to the top, and then we come out on the accent. Now we step down on the back foot, bending the back knee, and we smooth our skirt. And then we smooth our skirt the other way. We come up and we open. And then we step down, coming forward to our B plus. So this is where we finished from last time and this is where we're going to go on from. So you notice we're in B plus and once again, you can be either on the ball of the foot or the toe 
and our arms are this way. Now, all the time in ballet, especially the story ballets like the Nutcracker, you know, we're really, there's the stage is often full of people, and certainly the audience is full of people. So there's a generous feeling of invitation and warmth. To start, we have a little invitation, you, you. And now we're going to do our balance step. So we're gonna be taking the back leg out to the side. Remember, I am your mirror image here. So you are facing the wall in front of you, and now you're going to take your foot out towards that side wall. Just leave the arms in what we call a demi-second. So we go out and we go down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, four, up. Good, okay, so that's four balancés. Now, let's try one more time. We have a little sort of bridge in the music. You're gonna hear it. We go, you, you, and taking the back foot and rocking down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. Remember your diamond shape here. Now, you'll notice that as I'm doing this, that I'm taking my head to the foot that I'm landing on. So it's going over to the side when I'm going over to that side, and we go up, up, and then down, up, up, down, up, up, over, up, up. So that is actually pretty helpful because the head's heavy, and if you don't put the head in the right place, it's gonna really make the legs feel awkward. Another thing I often see in the studio, and something to just be aware of, is that especially when you're doing something new, and I know everybody's trying so hard, we tend to pull up and have very rigid knees. I want you to think that the knees are soft. And what I mean by that is you don't want them to be really stiff. Sometimes people start waltzing, and they kind of look like they're, they've got stiff, stiff knees, and and then their neck is clenched up. See if you can just soften that and remember the diamond shape. Remember when we turn out, we don't have to be flat turned out, but we wanna make sure that when we bend the knees, they're not together. We also wanna make sure that the foot isn't over crossing to the back. So keep the foot close to the other foot. And you don't have to point the toes, but you certainly can. Whether or not the toes are pointed, the foot is right at the back of the ankle. So this is the position or this is the position. We don't want it to be somewhere out here or up here or over here because that will lend itself to feeling very awkward and like we don't know where our feet are. Instead, you're just kind of keeping them right underneath yourself. All right, so one more time. We stand in our B plus on the ball or with pointed toes. The fingertips are in a demi-second. And with the back foot, we go out, we go down, up, up, down, up, up, head rocking side to side. Good, okay. So that is the first part of this section. And what we're going to do is we're going to hear the music so we can understand our tempo. And we are going to go back from the first section and add this little bit. Standing in our B plus, facing straight forward, we're going to do our little calling. It's a good chance to review our choreography. And bend and call. Turn the other way, bend and call. And you, and you, here, dance, open little Boris. And beckon, come dance with me. Arms down, turning towards that back foot, changing feet. Other foot is in front, taking the back foot and dragging that foot forward and bringing it down and up towards the back foot and then stepping back, good. And coming up, bore, open, good. And coming down, we go open, open, here we go. Down, up, up, down, up, up. That's it. Feeling the diamond. Good. So you can see how it joins together there.
So with that little review, we now move on to the second part of this little sequence. So we've done our four rocking steps. Remember, I'm your mirror image here. And now you're going to step towards the back foot. You're going to take it out into that arabesque a terre. So you're going to step towards the sidewall. So you're facing the sidewall. You step and reach. And now the back foot is going to step towards the diagonal. Not a big step, just a little step. And you're going to bend the knees and you're going to step. And now you're going to bring the back foot and you're going to bring it to the front of the ankle bone. Okay, so let's try that again. From our balance A where we finished, it's kind of close to a B plus, so that's where I'm gonna start. We take the back foot, we step towards the wall and reach. Now the back foot steps, we bend the knees, both of them, and as we straighten, that back foot comes to the front of the ankle bone. And now, carrying on, we bend the knees, we step across, and we're gonna step towards the back corner. We do a little step, and you point the toe here, and now we step forward and we open the arms. And now we're ready to do the other side with balance. So let's go over that without any music, starting with our balance. From our B plus, we do four balance. We go down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Up. Now take the back foot, reach towards the side wall, bend the knees, reach towards the diagonal, bend the knees, step towards that back diagonal, the back corner, and now bring the foot in front and come forward, straight forward. So one more time, that last section, because I know it can be confusing with the directions of the body, and that's why we want to use that feeling of a box. Standing in our B plus, we take our back foot. We bend both knees. Notice the knees are bent, and now we straighten. We're touching with the front fingertips, the side wall in front of us, and with the back fingertips, the side wall in back of us. And now we take the back leg, and we're gonna step it towards the front corner of our box. So we bend the knees, and now you're going to take the back foot, and you're gonna turn your body to face the other corner. So there we go. So the arms are on a diagonal. You're touching the top corner of the box back there and the bottom corner of the box in the front. And then the toe is at the front of the ankle. And now you're gonna step that front foot down and you're crossing the legs here. So crossing, the knees are bent. And now you're gonna take that back foot and you're gonna to step towards the back corner. Just leave the arms as they are and you're pointing the foot. So once again, the front fingertips are touching the bottom corner of the, the front of your box. The toe is pointed towards that bottom corner. And then the back fingertips are touching the top corner. Now you're gonna take that, that pointed toe out there and you're gonna bring it directly in front of you. You're gonna face the front wall of your box. We're bringing the arms down. And as we stand, we're gonna open them out to take our B plus. One more time, a little bit faster. It always helps to kind of get the body used to these motions. You know, the muscles have a memory. So we're really trying to develop that muscle memory. Standing in B plus, we do bend straight, bend straight, bend, stay bent and stretching one leg and then bend and straight. Excellent. All right, so why don't we hear this now with our music, just the second part. Standing in B plus, hugging in at your core. Remember to have soft knees, the fingertips are low, or you can have them on your waist. Remember to breathe, don't hold your breath. Here we go, wall step that way. Down, up, up, down, up, up. Soft knees, good. Now back foot, bend, straight, bend, straight, bend, 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 straight. Good, yes. So that is the first part, and now we are gonna repeat it on the other side. So before we do the other side with the music, let's go over how we do it with the feet and the directions of the body. 
So we have finished with our B plus with your right foot in front, my left foot is in front, we are mirror images, the other foot is behind. Now we are going to go in that direction with the back foot. So we go side, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. Now we take the back foot, we bend the knees, we stretch to the wall. And now we take the back foot, we step forward, bending the knees, and we bring the back toe to the front, reaching on our diagonal here. We take the front foot, step across, we stay low, and we point the toe to the corner, and then we bring that pointed toe in front, and then we straighten into our B plus, opening the arms. Now let's take a closer look at those arms so that we really get it on this side. Starting in B plus, the arms are in a little demi-second. We take the back foot and we go this way. We go down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. And now we're gonna take the arms, we're gonna touch the sidewall. So reach towards the sidewall with the front arm, reach towards the sidewall with the back arm. Now the arms stay level, the body's changing. You're bending the knees as you bring that back foot forward. And now we're going to reach on a long diagonal. So the arm, the fingertips are reaching towards the bottom corner and the top corner on the diagonal. And the toe is at the front of the ankle. You can either point the toe or be on the ball of the foot. Now as we step, you leave the arms there. They don't change at all. You step and you bend. You stay low, you reach towards the back corner, the arms are still the same. And now we're going to bring them together as we step, and we're gonna open them out as we stand. Good, good work. So now we are going to put this together with the first side of this section so we can try it to both sides. And don't worry if you start to get confused. You know, ballet is something that really requires practice, so don't be afraid to go back over and over again. You know, eventually what happens is we get all of that muscle memory and we don't have to think so hard. So practice is what will make a big difference here. Standing in B plus on the ball or with a pointed toe. Remember, nice lifted spine, soft knees, and a little light in your heart. Going this way, balancing. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Back foot, bend, straight, cross, straight. Bend, stay bent, and forward, other side, side to side. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, back foot, straight, bend, cross, bend, bend, step forward and open. Good, so it's just side to side, that's all this section is, but we're gonna try it a couple more times so that you can really get familiar, and then we're gonna put it with that first section so we can see what it's like to do both together. This way, back foot reaches side and side, side, good. Bend the knees and straighten. Bend the knees, lift the toe. Bend the knees, stretch the leg, bend and straighten. Other side. Good, to side. Down, up, up, down. Now back foot to the side, to the corner, to the corner, and straight forward. Beautiful. Is it starting to feel maybe a little bit more comfortable? If not, don't worry. We're gonna keep practicing. Let's try it one more time. Standing up nice and tall, floating those fingertips away from the body, hugging in the core, open, open chest. Here we go. This way, side to side. Four balances. Two, three, four. And point, bend and point, bend and stretch, and stepping forward, other side. Balance A, and two, three, four. Step, point, 
reach, open the chest. Excellent, okay. Now is the big moment where we put it all together with the first part. And so as we go along, remember you can always stop and go back and play this over and over again. All right, let's do our dance up to here. Standing in B plus, hugging in, opening the chest, beautiful and proud and graceful. We step to the side. Here we go, bend and call and bend and call and stepping forward say you and you here dance open and now start those bores and call come dance with me you say and bring the arms down as you come up you're turning changing the feet and now taking the back foot and stretching and take the back foot forward, bore and out and coming down on the back foot and stepping back, smoothing your skirt and coming up, bore, bore, bore and open, good, coming down, stepping with the back foot, open, balance, balance, that's it, side and side, back foot, stretch to the side, reach to the corners, step towards the corner, step forward and open, other side, keep it small, you can always get bigger once we feel more confident in what we're doing, step to the side, step, reach to the corners, stretch to the corner, and coming forward and open. Excellent, and you can see the beautiful kind of crescendo and opening we have, the blossoming of the music right there. All right, let's try it a couple more times just so that we get really familiar. And I really, really encourage you to keep the arms close to the body. I know we're stretching away, but try not to make them too big when we start doing all of the stuff with our feet. In fact, if you need to, you can always place your hands on your waist so that you would master those feet and then add the arms later. Okay, let's try it again. Standing up nice and tall, you can even imagine you are your favorite flower. I think today I am a purple pansy. So opening up, hugging in, we're gonna step to the side and calm. Remember, very fluid with the knees, with the arms, and stepping, say you and you. Dance, open, draw the feet together, start those bores. Busy, busy feet, back in. Come dance with me. Arms come down, turn towards the back, changing feet. Good, stepping with the back foot. And now draw that front foot across. And bring them down. And open, and stepping on that back foot. Smoothing your skirts, good. Stepping together, bore, 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 open. And stepping down on the front foot, step across, open. And to the side, side, and down, up, up, down, up, up, good. To the side wall, to the corner, to the corner, and stepping to the front. Side and side. Gentle feeling in your body. Good. Side wall. Corners. Stretch. And coming forward to open. That's it. Good, 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 good. All right, one last time. Try to clear your mind of any self-doubt, you know, Practicing is what will give us confidence as our body starts to understand this coordination. And you know, you're not supposed to know how to do this right off the bat. So let yourself have the time to learn and to enjoy that learning. All right, last time through. Standing up nice and tall, open heart, just feeling the gorgeousness of this music. 
Here we go, stepping to the side. Bend and straight. And bend and straight. And stepping forward. Bringing the arms down, turning towards that back foot, changing feet, and with the back foot, stepping, and pulling that back foot to the front, and sweeping the arms, and to the back foot, smooth the skirt. Good. Coming up, and opening out. And now step down, step forward, open, balance eyes. Beautiful side to side motion. Now stepping, step, 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 and forward, other side. That's it. Keeping it small. Good. Stepping. Step. Step. Stretch. And coming open. Excellent. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful work. So that is part two of our Waltz of the Flowers dance. Make sure you practice, practice, and also review with the playlist that I have posted. And if you're looking for that complete training so that you can really learn how to point your toes and all of these steps that we're doing, definitely go over to everydayballet.com and check out my ballerina body programs. I'd love to share more ballet with you. Thank you so much for joining me. Always a delight. And until next time, happy dancing.